Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Zaravia, and if you're new here, welcome to the family. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Tune in if you want to just see everyday life, mom stuff, random vlogs, me just chit chat, and all that good stuff. But today, I'm a little excited because the kids don't know they're outside right now, but we're getting a puppy. So if you're not new here and you've been kind of keeping up with me, we did get a puppy when we lived in Rhode Island probably about three or four years ago, five, no, four years ago. And we had him for about two years, but then we unfortunately had to give him away because we drove here from Rhode Island and he was a very big dog. He was a pit shepherd. His name was Seven, but we had to get rid of him because he wasn't going to be able to just, we weren't going to be able to transport him. It just, it wasn't working. Also at the time, I wasn't in the best headspace to have him because we got him when my son turned one and a month later I found out I was pregnant. So <laughs> hormonal, huge dog. We lived in a place that it was always cold and just gloomy and I homeschooled a kindergartner at the time. So I just had a lot on my plate and I couldn't give him the affection and the love and just the energy that he needed. Now we have the opportunity to get a puppy. Um, our neighbor across the street had some pups. He's an American bully and they had some little puppies. We fell in love with one of them. We fell in love with a lot of them, but we fell in love with one and we were like, okay, the kids have been asking for another dog. Clearly we're a dog family and we're all kind of itching for a doggy. We just didn't know the right time, the right breed. And one stipulation that I have, if we get another dog, it cannot shed. It cannot. Our last dog shed so bad. I was sick of cleaning it up. And with having four kids who like to play on the floor, I just don't have time for it. So this dog apparently doesn't shed as much. It's smaller, more manageable. And if we do, well, not if, when we do move, It'll be easier to transport and travel with him because he's a smaller dog. Um, but yeah, so today we're gonna get him. And they already named, they already they nicknamed the dogs. They didn't name the dogs, but they have nicknames for them. This particular dog is not as energetic as the other pups, and he just kind of does his own thing. So they named him Lazy Bones. I didn't want to name the dog that. I was like, that's kind of negative. And so me and my husband were kind of playing around with names. We were like, okay, well, they already have him nicknamed as Lazy Bones. Maybe we can nickname him like LB and just name him LB. But then my husband was like, LB, hmm, what about pounds? Since LB stands for pounds. And we were like, oh, I think it's cute. He's going to be a chubby little thing. And I say, let's name him Pounds. What y'all think? What y'all think about that name? Is it giving cute, chubby, squishy lovey? I don't know. My husband said he can leave it up to me since he named the last dog. But I don't know. Pounds and LB is kind of like sticking with me. So I think I'm going to keep it. But once the kids finally see him, we'll, we'll get their feedback on it and see what they think. But um, yeah, I went to Ross um, and I grabbed a bed. I grabbed two beds. So I grabbed one bed that could just be for in the house and, you know, just a cute little corner bed wherever. And I found another bed that can go inside of the crate. So he's not just laying on the crate. Um, I grabbed a couple little toys and I grabbed a little doggy blanket just so we can cuddle up with and have for long term. And yeah, so I already told my husband, I was like, honey, I got some stuff for the dog. I got toys and then everything. He was just like, oh my goodness. So... We're gonna be doing that today when he comes home. Hopefully he comes home on time today and not super late. Because if he comes home late, I'm gonna just go get the dog by myself. Cause I don't have time to wait. So in the meantime, I'm gonna straighten up a little bit more. I'm gonna vacuum, do the dishes. Cause you know, I wanna welcome the dog to, into like a clean home. But like, you know, right now my bed is, my bed is clean. The kids are outside right now. And last night I let them play in the backyard and play in dirt and water and mud so i need to revacuum. look at this look at this just 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 ugh. 
So I have to clean this and they just made a mess. Food, food and all types of stuff. But um, so I need to actually clean up my daughter peed on the floor because she went to sit on her potty, but the inside of her potty was missing. And she's like, where's the potty? And then she couldn't hold it. So she peed on the floor. So we're gonna shampoo the carpet, pick up their little toys, try to straighten it up. For the most part, it's pretty straight. I've been trying to keep it like straight because I've been realizing that I love being able to just walk around in my home and it looks aesthetically pleasing and it's clean and it makes me happy. Um, oh yeah, my husband repainted my Valentine's Day gift. Why there's kid toys on it already? Don't know, but he repainted it. Super cute, love it. I don't know if we're gonna leave that there or not, but that's where it's gonna be for now. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did go ahead and get some new LED lights. If you know me, your girl loves an LED situation, okay? I got LEDs behind this TV, but you'll see. They're janky and we couldn't find, I don't know what happened. I don't know why these are so short, but these are our old ones that we had in Rhode Island that just during the travel, I don't know what happened to them, but something happened to them. Anywho, I got some new ones to go behind my TV so we can actually illuminate how I want it to. I have some LEDs in the living room, in the lamp, in the guest room, in the playroom. LEDs everywhere, LEDs everywhere. But for sure, I had to have some in my room because at night, I don't like to have big lights on. I'm a minimal light person at night. I'm a, I'm a low light lamp person. So it's either gonna be a low lamp or some LEDs at nighttime for me. And the way that these are behind this TV, it's not giving mood it's giving janky so we're gonna fix that right now and we're gonna get our lives together i need to pass some time so i cannot think about the dog because the more i think about it low-key i'm excited i will say i need to be realistic with myself and i'm already prepared i'm already prepared knowing that it's a lot because another dog is literally like having another child you know when it comes to bathing and playing and things like that. But I told my husband, he was like, you know, he doesn't want to put too much on me because he knows that last time having a dog was a bit much for me. However, uh -oh. however, I did say, I know it's a lot, but I'm in a much better headspace to deal with it and to have a dog and actually enjoy it and give it love because I'm not dealing with the hormones. Our kids are a little older. Like I can, I'm in a better mental space to do that versus trying to do that just yeah being hormonal and having a newborn and trying to homeschool is not the move for a puppy a very energetic puppy at that he was very energetic didn't listen and was too big i couldn't deal with it this one's smaller manageable i can deal with it your girl can do it i got it i can do it i can do it okay so another life update that i am trying to do now is I wanna get healthier and I wanna fix whatever is dealing with like my gut health. As y'all know, I deal with a hernia and the diastasis recti. And sometimes what I've been realizing is when I eat certain things and my body doesn't digest it the best, I either get super bloated and it makes my hernia hurt. And TMI, I'm not very regular, which is a problem, but I have to take a moment and like really think about, okay, what am I eating? What am I doing wrong? What do I need to fix? So one small change that I'm doing is I'm cutting out the sugary drink. So I'm not gonna drink any soda and no juice. And if I drink juice, it's gonna be like fresh squeezed juice. So I'm only drinking water, infused water, tea. I do drink mushroom coffee and my sea moss and my matcha. No dairy, like no milk but your girl has almond milk and almond creamer. So I wanna at least start there and start small and see like, do I notice any changes? Does my body react? And so yesterday I started and I did a little food diary. I'm also doing that. I'm cutting back on a few things. I'm trying to switch up how I eat less 
sugary process thing. So I made a little food diary yesterday and I didn't feel bloated. My hernia doesn't hurt. I feel amazing today. Like yesterday I woke up in flame because the night before I had Burger King for dinner. I haven't eaten Burger King in so long, but I woke up the next morning like, I couldn't put this ring on this finger. It only fit on this finger. That's a problem. Um, so right now, this more earlier for lunch, I have water and I have, we went to Chick-fil-A and I wanted to get my spicy chicken deluxe sandwich with a lemonade and a medium fry with Polynesian and Chick-fil-A sauce. But you know what I did? The girl got a salad. And the guy was like, would you like to drink, ma'am? And I was like, no, I got water. That made me proud. It sucked because the kids were in front of me eating chicken nuggets and this Chick-fil-A sauce. And I wanted to just grab one nugget, but I didn't. Now I'm hungry again though, so I'm drinking some water. And it's not even like a diet. I'm not on a diet. I just want to switch my lifestyle. It's a lifestyle change. What sense does it make to eat things that your body doesn't like? Like why eat something because it tastes good, but then later on your stomach hurts? Like what sense does that make? So I'm trying to find other alternatives and to find other foods that I enjoy, that I love, that they taste great and don't make my body feel like crap. That's the journey I'm on right now. I was like, I wanna, I don't wanna be that person that looks at the ingredients of everything, but then again. This got too many ingredients for me. I don't like that. It tastes good, but I could've just got hummus. I really could've just got hummus. Or make my own hummus. It says contains, it's the very, very bottom. Contains bioengineered food ingredients. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> okay, we we may not rebuy this because we don't want to buy engineered food. After I finish this, I think what I'm gonna try to do is make my own hummus. My favorite hummus is the what is it called? The roasted chili, the roasted tomato hummus, I think. So maybe I'll try making my own hummus. I have two cans of chickpeas right now that I can do. So that'll be the next project. We're gonna try to do our homemade hummus because we don't wanna buy it in your food. Like what? Like what? But these are keeper. That that just made me not wanna eat it. Let me talk, let me see. This says the same thing. Contains bioengineered food ingredients. Like what? but I'm doing some research on it. And I mean, I don't feel, I didn't feel bad when I ate it yesterday. So I'm not trying to be a health freak, which is nothing wrong with that. I just want to eat foods that make my body feel good. These didn't make my body feel bad. But yep, that's the journey that we're on. So I will keep y'all updated. I took my weight yesterday. I would like to hit my first goal weight. So hopefully this lifestyle change transition will help with that. I would like to shed the fat and the extra gunk in my body first and then focus after that on like building muscle. Okay, so right now the kids, I have two little ones taking a bath and the oldest are about to take a shower. So while the kids are occupied, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the doggy bed, doggy toys and probably set it up somewhere. 
and then I'm gonna go across the street and get him. I'm debating if I wanna get him while, I'm debating if I wanna get him when everyone is out or just get him now and let him be running around. My only thing with that is the little ones will probably be done with their bath first. And if they see the dog, then they're gonna yell it and scream it. I want it to be a surprise for everybody at the same Mama. time. Yeah. I forgot one thing. And okay. okay. I want it to be a surprise for everybody at the same time. So while they're in there, I'm gonna wait for them to actually get in the shower. I'm gonna go ahead, bring the dog stuff in. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm gonna bring the dog stuff in, hide it, and then let them come out. And then once they sit down, I'm gonna go across the street. Or I can already have him in the crate in the garage and then bring him in. I might do that. Let me go talk to the neighbors, come up with a plan, and then I'll be back. Okay, I paid for him. I'm about to, I'm about to get him. I have his crate. So I'm gonna keep I'm keep him in the garage until all the kids are out and then we'll bring him in. so freaking cute. This is all the stuff I got him. He's such a sweetheart. Just gonna have some bonding time. Surprise, hold on, baby. <gasps> you can't. Just a second. Just a second, okay? No biting, no nibbling. Thank you. I'll take the kisses. The things I do for my children, they're gonna fall in love, but I'm trying to get the little ones dressed now. If you would stop barking, we can't have you. I'm gonna put the TV on. So they can't hear him barking. And yeah. All right, let me grab your surprise. When I say okay. Doug. Doug? Yeah. No, I do not agree. With we'll take votes. 
So give me some name ideas. Like okay. I feel like I'm calling him a tack. I'm gonna call him a tack. Tack? No. Attack. No. Why would we name him a tack? Doug. I like Doug. Yeah. There goes your bed. Yeah, guys. This is our new addition. What you think? So cute. What do you think about him? Already? Yes. They didn't know what their surprise was going to be today. They thought it was a person. They thought it was a snack. They didn't think it was going to be another puppy. <laughs> what you think? He's so cute. And he's sleeping on me. Yeah. Let me go ahead and bring his, uh, I'm going to bring his little crate inside. The next morning, it's like 8 a.m. <sighs> he slept all night. Didn't make a noise, nothing. I had his cage door wide open and he did not get out. He woke up probably like 7.15 this morning, moved around, nibbled on his toy. And around like 7.30, he just... I tried to get him out. He didn't want to get out. He didn't get out till he was ready. He got out, went on the puppy pad, peed a whole bunch. We wiped him off, and now he's eating, like, easy. <laughs> so that's one thing that I love, that he's able to just go in there, sleep, and he's comfortable. And it's not like, doesn't want to not be in there. So that's comfort for him. He was able to just sleep all night long. Then wake us up and bother us. Yeah. I got I think I actually accidentally woke him up. I got up to go use the restroom. And he just looked at me. And so I looked at him, checked on him. Tried to play with him and whatnot, but he wasn't ready yet. But right now he's eating his first meal. So he's peed for the first time. And he's eating his first meal. So we're seeing if he likes it and stuff. Which clearly he does. He is tearing it up. But yeah. Can y'all hear him? <laughs>